so back to this uh, PS5 that it has bad power supply and it cannot be fixed because there is no uh, chips no power manager ICs available for it yet so I order another power supply from China is here so this one ADP-400ER this one is a PA-1401 but it's the same size same everything so it will work because all we need is uh, this is just one output here is a 12 volt as you see I already removed the HDMI IC from back the first part of the video the console no power then I test it with another good power supply the console doesn't beep at all I remove the HDMI IC the console beep one time and goes off I put a good HDMI IC the console doesn't beep doesn't start I remove that HDMI IC the console beep one time then goes off so that's the what it was yeah the SAR bridge chipset it tested the bed so this is how we're going to test it so let's put this one in the ground so this capacitor here it tested short this capacitor tested short let's go on the microscope you can see it better now these two capacitors here Tested it, shirt it. That's the IC. If you can see the model number. Ooh. It's over there. CXD 961. Yeah, I had a hard time to find this chip on the on the China websites. So I ordered a couple of them and after uh, two weeks they cancel the order because they can't uh, ship it so they are selling something that they don't have in stock and they've been waiting for it like over a month and a half now so that's the back of the chipset and we have another capacitor here search it and even we can test it from here that's a Ethernet port and this the coil filters for the Ethernet yeah many pins are shorted yep so let's remove this one This is the replacement part. Hopefully, it's a real chip, it's not something fake. It looks real. Hopefully, if we remove the chip and uh, the shirt is gone, I'm gonna put the HDMI uh, IC and uh, put this together. Until the chip starts moving. Like when we push it like that, it's moved.
this is a beef chip chicken will be chunk there's a little bit moving now just want to be sure all the the solder balls is melted so still some of them that's connected to the ground is yeah look like now is good Right. Yeah, the new chip is pre-reball, so we don't need to reball it. That's good enough. So let test where we had the shirt before. So we have a shirt right here. Short here. So no more short over there. And right here. No shirt. So this cap, it was distant shirt before, no shirt now. So we are ready for the new chip. You see this little triangle here? That's the direction of the chip. It's going to be with that little dot right here. A beautiful Sony. It didn't put the, the chip mark. And we just were gonna guess. Mm -hmm. Just we guess is that's how it should be. So about like 440 degrees and uh, the air is low.
Salır star milçinle. This will wait for the chip to set right. Give it a little bit. moving and applying the heat till the chip like uh, free moving on the top of the melted solder block. This move it to the right place. Still a little bit hard to move it. Okay, it's moving this side. It's moving this side. Yep. So basically, it's soldered now. Yeah, let's wait for it to cool down, and we're gonna check if it's. So on here, yeah, no more shirts here. Like before, this pants they were shirted. So the shirtage is gone with the this I see with the stitch forces better. Because the time I can't blind the IC or blind the, the chip from China. So let's put this power supply. We don't know if this power supply works too. This is from China. So we have one beef. working on it. What's your full name? I did see the light over there, the fan goes on then goes off.
yeah after I install the, the chipset I had one beep and the blue light the fan turns goes off so I just installed the HDMI IC and let me install the fan and, uh, and everything because sometimes if the fan not installed or the heatsink make a bad connection it may turn on or off or could be the HDMI IC2 if it's not detected so just let put just couple screws Two, three. So it turns on blue light. It stay on longer. It stay on longer. I'm still waiting for the display on the screen over there. It's going to the white, and we have the display. Yes. This customer has been waiting for this console for over a month and a half because I ordered the chip like two times. The first time I wait two weeks and the, the, the seller uh, still not ship it and I told him just to cancel the order. The second one I wait the whole week. Then they didn't ship it. And they ask him to cancel the order because they don't have it in the stock. Then the third one, it take like about three weeks to be here. But the good thing is the HDMI IC, it works. So I'm going to order more, H not the HDMI IC, the, the chipset. I'm going to order more chipset from this guy because I know his chipsets are good. And they still have one console to fix with the same problem. Yeah, there is a display, picture looks good, console works. Finally, console works. Blue light is on. Yeah, I'm happy for it. So we yeah, have the console, it works, and you can see the screen display is there. So this is all for this video, thank you for watching, please subscribe and we'll see you again.